Did you know? The original Street Fighter game was produced and directed by Takahashi Nishiyama and planned by Hiroshi Matsumoto. These two men left Capcom after working on Street Fighter and joined SNK, where they designed both the Fatal Fury and the Art of Fighting series. The cast of the original Street Fighter was partly designed by Mega Man creator Keiji Inafune, a job that would serve as his break into the video game industry. The designs for Ryu and Sagat were heavily influenced by characters from a 1977 Japanese manga, Karate Baka Ichidai. They were were inspired by the characters Yoshiji Soeno, a karate master, and Reba, known in the manga as the Dark Lord of Muay Thai. Ryu's backstory borrows from the legends surrounding real-world karate master Matsutatsu Oyama. Oyama is famous for his mysterious origins and his rigorous training regimen, which includes activities like isolating himself in the mountains, practicing under icy waterfalls, and competing in 100-man tournaments. Ryu and Ken can also be seen as evolutions of the characters from 1984's Karate Champ. As well as the side-on perspective, the game features protagonists in white and red uniforms, highly specific command inputs, and bonus Bonus rounds. Additionally, the Karate Champ sequel Player vs. Player featured a two-player mode. It also featured a number of locations from around the world, as does the Street Fighter series. Other Street Fighter characters have real-world origins as well. Kickboxer Joe from Street Fighter appears to be based on kickboxing legend Joe Lewis. Eagle, the British bouncer, looks a lot like a bodyguard from the Bruce Lee film Fist of Fury. Eagle's design also borrows from the appearance of Freddie Mercury, the lead singer of the British rock band Queen. M. Bison's design unmistakingly resembles the design of Yasunori Kato from the film Tokyo The Last Megapolis, right down to the glowing eyes and star on his cap. DJ, notable for being the only Street Fighter character designed by Capcom USA, gets his appearance from martial artist, actor, and inventor of the Taibo exercise program, Billy Blanks. Fei Long is an obvious nod to actor and Jeet Kune Do inventor, Bruce Lee. Final Fight and Street Fighter characters Hugo Andre and Alex are based on American professional wrestlers Andre the Giant and Hulk Hogan, respectively. Their rivalry is a reference to the famous fight between Andre the Giant and Hulk Hogan from WrestleMania 3. The Street Fighter 2 boss character Balrog has a complicated history internationally. Street Fighter 4 assistant producer Natsuki Shiozawa once stated on the series' official blog that the Street Fighter 1 character Mike and the Street Fighter 2's character Balrog are likely the same person. Both are heavyweight boxers that share likeness in both name and appearance with American former heavyweight champion Mike Tyson. In Japan, Balrog is known as Mike Bison. Out of fear of legal action from Mike Tyson, Capcom changed and rearranged a few character names when Street Fighter 2 was localized for the United States. The name M. Bison was given to the final boss character formerly known as Vega in Japan, the name Vega was then shifted to the Spanish bullfighter assassin character known as Balrog in Japan. The unusual connection between these three characters was referenced in the small airfield stage in Street Fighter 4. A plane can be seen in the background with Balrog visible in the doorway, if Balrog is participating in the fight, Vega will appear in the door on the plane instead, and if both Balrog and Vega are fighting, M. Bison will appear. To prevent confusion in competition amongst international players, the common names for these characters are Boxer, Claw, and Dictator. The combo system that debuted in Street Fighter 2 was originally a bug in the game's code. This bug enabled the player to cancel during the animation of some moves by performing another move, allowing for a combination of several basic and special moves. This accidental combo system caused Street Fighter 2 to go on and become one of the most influential fighting games ever, inspiring the development of Mortal Kombat, Killer Instinct, The King of Fighters, Virtual Fighter, and Tekken. At first, the developers thought being able to hit several times in succession was unfair, and changed it so that the second hit would always miss. Street Fighter 2 director Akira Nishitani stated that this was changed back because it was dull. Leftovers of this mechanic can still be seen with E. Honda's 100 hand slaps and Chun-Li's lightning kicks, as some of the hits in these attacks will not connect, allowing the opponent to escape. The developers also experimented with doubling the damage dealt when the opponent is dizzy. They did this by applying a flag to every frame of dizzy animations, but the idea was later discarded and the flags were removed. One frame of Ryu's Dizzy animation was accidentally left unchanged, however, resulting in an exploit in the final game where Ryu takes double damage if he's hit during this frame of his Dizzy animation. One of the hints that appears during the Japanese version of Street Fighter 2's continue screen says, Don't give up until the very end. Most players interpreted this as a generic encouragement, but it was actually intended to clue the player in on a mechanic of the game. When the player's life bar is low, their attack power changes. This affects each character differently. Some deal more damage and others 
colors have wider range. These hints that appear on the continue screen were originally going to come from a mysterious old man. Design documents from the initial phase of development of Street Fighter 2 reveal several other planned characters that were discarded. These characters include a generic police officer in riot gear, a ninja type character, a Ugandan mystic, Gen from the first Street Fighter with no clothes and a stick weapon, and a ripoff of Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star. Additionally, initial designs of some of the characters that did make it into the game are different from their final appearance, including Blanca, referred to as Beast Man, appearing much more realistic with chains around his neck. One version of Dalsam, referred to as Indian, depicts a generic Indian-looking man wearing a turban. A later Dalsam design also features multiple limbs and the head of an elephant, reminiscent of the Hindu god Ganesha. Vega's initial design appears to be influenced by the Knights Templar, and Zangif's original name was Vodka Gobalski. Notes from these design documents also mention that Guile is a normal, average set character put in for, quote, Americans to use. That's all for today, but don't forget to subscribe to Did You Know Gaming and follow Did You Know Gaming on Facebook and Twitter. Make sure you also check out didyouknowgaming.com, and if you like this video, check out our other videos. You can find more Street Fighter and fighting game coverage from myself at youtube.com slash miles923, where I cover news, tips, tricks, excitement, and short films. Take care, folks, and we'll see you next time.